in the Windows GUI, you can access the video controls, the audio controls, do your GPI setup, event, memory and recall, your network settings, and the status of the system. This interface is also able to access multiple FA9600s over the network. From the video inputs that allow automatic input tracking or manual setup of inputs from SD, 3G, HD, and 4K operation in two channels. Our synchronizers can be set from a minimum of less than one line through a frame of delay with adjustable horizontal and vertical phase. The conversion section will follow the input or can be manually set. So in this case, I would have a 2160 output regardless of the input into the system. We have delay settings up to a maximum of, 80 fr of 8 frames. We have delay settings up to a maximum of 8 frames. And a converter delay, I don't like that. Converter delay, adjustable converter delay, okay. We have a video delay setting up to 8 frames and adjustable converter delay. You can resize your images using the uh, AFD or free size it in either 4x3 or 16x9 and also position and crop your image. We have a noise reducer function that has noise reduction on red, green, and blue. The color processing select has two separate processors that can be input from synchronizer one or two or converter one or two. Each of the color processing units allows proc amp, input gamma and color control, dynamic range gain, differential color correction, knee adjustment for RGB clip, output gamma and color, balance of color correction, uh, post-processing amp, YPBPR clipping, and bypass or operate functions. Each ancillary controller allows multiplexing payload ID, overwrite or pass, and timecode generator insertion. Finally, the output selection allows you to route your two color processors out through either the SDI, HDMI, or option slots. You see this is a true two-channel device, and so you have your synchronizers, converters, um, color proc chains for the first channel and also for the second channel. This page also allows reference selection between GenLock, FrameSync 1, FrameSync 2, and Free Run, and shows you a video status display showing your input and output formats and the video present on each slot HDMI signal or SDI signal. In addition to the video processing, the FA9600 has full audio processing. From the FrameSync input, where I can allow normal or inverted levels, to the source select, where I can select each of the 32 channels and its input. 
We have input delay both on individual channels and a master delay that covers the whole system. This is up to 1,000 milliseconds. Sample rate conversion of each channel, either in auto, SRC input, or bypass. An interesting feature of this system is the output mapping. So using this function, I can output a shuffle of each individual channel to the, input, to the output of the uh, frame synchronizer. So I could have the same source duplicated across several different channels or both frame synchronizers. Standard gain controls for each channel of audio or a master adjustment. The FA9600 has output delay. The output controller allows you control of four groups and the ability to enable or disable the reference clock on each group. We have input and output status showing loss of signal and on the output status showing the audio format. The audio system controls allow adjustment of reference level, grade, consumer or professional, resolution from 16 to 24 bit, and silence detection time and level. And finally, we have down mix uh, and mono sum and test signals on all channels. There's a GPI option that allows 10 inputs and outputs to be connected to the rear of the main unit. An event control system that allows you 100 events loaded and saved. Network display and settings. And status display showing installed options into the system. Finally, the same user interface allows you to connect up to 10 different FA9600s from the same control panel.